Yes, good afternoon. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Steve Bolton from Butterfly Conservation. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Big City Butterflies project. It's a four year heritage lottery funded project all about discovering London's butterflies and moths. Uh, I'm just going to start with a quick introduction to butterfly conservation. So we're a UK wide charity founded in 1968. Our mission is the conservation of butterflies, moths and our environment. And we take practical conservation action. So we've got uh, quite a number of landscape scale conservation projects across the country. Uh, we promote scientific study, um, publish scientific papers, um, we safeguard important sites. So we've got a number of nature reserves again across the, across the country and we encourage public enjoyment of butterflies and moths. And we've got 40,000 members I should mention as well. So London, uh, a very urban environment, but actually as I'm sure many of you know, is illustrated by this map and we've got a fantastic amount of green space across London um, with nature reserves, um, the different designations, parks and open spaces. So there's a lot of opportunities there to support biodiversity and engage with local people, which is what we're all about with this project. And actually just a little highlight here, um, again, a very sort of central London um, focused little site, the Barbican Wildlife Garden, a little oasis um, like this are really important to, to both support biodiversity indicated by the sort of meadow habitat um, but also for people's well-being as well. Um, so you can come across um, some, some lovely species like this common blue, for example, in these little urban oases. So we've got some different aims and objectives for our project, um, which I'll mention um, about. Um, so it's really helping Londoners discover and connect with butterflies and moths and the green spaces that support them. We want to improve the quality and connectivity of the green spaces uh, to increase their suitability for butterflies and moths. Um, so really supporting uh, improved biodiversity of all sorts of wildlife as well as butterflies and moths. We want to increase the levels of recording and monitoring across London to build up a more, a more detailed picture of how butterflies and, and moths are faring across the capital. And we want to increase opportunities for butterfly conservation to engage with new audiences and enable us to develop and test new approaches to, to conservation in an urban context. So we're developing different techniques um, in, in terms of urban conservation, habitat creation, that, that's really exciting that we want to sort of test further and share, share with the community. So we've got three main themes uh, across our project um, and engagement is, is a key one for us. So uh, I'm the conservation officer, but we also have um, Ellie, who's my colleague and she's the engagement officer. Um, so a wide programme of, of engagement events. We'll be doing uh, a lot of recording and monitoring, um, so supporting that with training, and I'll, I'll come on to these in a bit more detail in a moment. Uh, and the other main theme is habitat management. Um, yeah, in terms of the project area, we are focused on inner London, so there are 17 boroughs um, that you can see highlighted there um, that, we're, that we're focusing on. And each of those fits into a local butterfly conservation um, branch, which are volunteer run, uh, and they already have a membership and run events, but we're supporting those and trying to encourage um, more membership um, and, and um, better links with the communities for, for our local branches as well. And we have, in each of those boroughs, we've sort of identified some flagship sites um, uh, to act as a, a kind of real um, window into the community. And they might be really good for, for Lepidoptera, uh, for butterflies and moths, um, but also have good facilities where we can run events and that type of thing. And also then work from those and link with other, other satellite sites to improve habitat connectivity. So in terms of some of the activities, um, we're running a school engagement program um, with a number of workshops, um, particularly in, in the sort of summer period. Um, uh, and that might involve getting out into the grounds actually and doing some, some planting or, or seeding with the kids and, and sort of getting them involved. And that's mainly with my colleague, Ellie. We are running a program of community events. Um, so developing links with different uh, community groups, friends or groups um, across the project area. Um, and this is a moth trapping event, uh, for example, but we're doing a whole, whole series of different events, including sort of craft activities, that type of thing as well. 
Um, we're also attending bigger public events, um, high footfall events. Um, we were down at Bandstand uh, Beds the other day, a food grain sort of charity area on Clapham Common, um, which is a great way of getting in touch with the, the local community and, and sort of uh, hopefully inspiring people to discover more about butterflies and moths. We are running butterfly uh, identification and recording workshops. Um, and this has worked quite well, um, doing kind of online uh, presentations uh, in terms of the slides, um, working through different butterfly species and then following that with a, a walk on a, on a local butterfly site. And we tend to promote those to sort of borough wide audiences uh, and then do a walk on one of the flagship sites, um, which is working, working well. Um, and we can slowly build links. We've got a good four year um, time period for the project and that will hopefully enable us to establish more recording and monitoring schemes um, so the ideal is the weekly butterfly transect we've got a number of those across in london um, but we want to do more and we can um, really cater to different uh, audiences and it can be more casual ad hoc recording uh, and these days there's really great apps that um, allow you to to submit your butterfly records on the go um, particularly the IRA called Butterflies app. We will be doing habitat management training workshops, or are doing habitat management training workshops. Again, these can be working with the different borough councils, so focused with some of the staff. So we did one at Southwark um, recently at Burgess Park um, and had uh, to the different park staff there, but also housing staff as well, and trying to cover you know, the variety of green spaces uh, across London. Um, and uh, yeah, there's some, been some good results and, and councils uh, sort of changing the way they do things, uh, hopefully to improve biodiversity. <coughs> Excuse me. Part of that kind of habitat management approach is offering site advice visits. So we can go out to, to different sites across London. Again, it can be with land managers and staff, but also community groups. Uh, and often it's community groups that can really get things off the ground. Uh, and so working with them, um, we can get some, some community engagement and some volunteer work going to, to make some real differences on the ground. And we're, we're doing planning some wildflower areas at Gladstone Park in Brent, for example, uh, kind of in association, with their, in association with their Bee Corridor project. We have um, some budget for seeding and plug planting and also turf stripping to um, improve biodiversity and help support um, meadow habitat, creating new, new meadow areas. Um, <clears throat> we also have some budget for trees, tree planting, hedges and, and shrubs. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a woodland creation area happening uh, down at Avery Hill Park in Lewisham. And we're providing them with some, some elm trees to support white letter hair streak, for example. Uh, yes, but unfortunately, the wider pictures for butterflies, as, as many of you will know, is um, one of, of quite significant decline. There's really no such thing as a common butterfly anymore, like the large white um, over the past 10 years declined by 28%. The white letter hair streak, a conservation priority species um, affected by Dutch elm disease of the, of the elm trees that uh, are its caterpillar food plant has declined quite significantly. But um, within London, actually, um, there are some good uh, elm populations still around um, in many parks and cemeteries, um, both the, the kind of native elm trees, but then more disease resistant tree, <coughs> trees are being planted. Um, and actually, we are beginning to see white the hair streak um, colonise new sites in London. So, yeah, it's not all it's not all doom and gloom. We, we can support these um, rare species and encourage um, new colonies um, by some of the work that we're doing. And uh, yes, the marble white is another another good news story. Although there are some wider declines across the UK um, in London, with the more sensitive management of some of the parks and gardens, particularly over the last twenty years. We're seeing species like the marble white um, beginning to spread and colonise new areas. Um, it's now in many, many parks um, and it likes tall, unimproved grassland. Uh, the caterpillars feed on, on red fescue and other grasses, so it's really often changing the mowing regimes maybe to encourage more fine grasses. Um, and then also where uh, perhaps the existing grass and is species poor to uh, improve the biodiversity and with seeding, for example, uh, and meadow creation projects. Um, 
which we're working on uh, across those inner London boroughs. Um, there's an exciting one uh, yeah, going on at Gladstone Park. I'm also supporting um, uh, the community group at Clapham Common with some, with some more meadow areas um, to support uh, some wildflower strips they created recently. So it's a bit of a, a whistle stop tour, um, but I hope that was um, an interesting kind of summary of, of the project. Um, it's just a few contact details there. Um, as I say, we're, we're very keen to encourage more recording uh, and working with both land managers and community groups uh, across that project area um, to get a better understanding of, of how, how butterflies are faring. Um, we've got a web page there if you'd like more information and uh, we, we're uh, also on Twitter as well. So that's it from me. Thanks very much. And yeah, I'll be around uh, towards uh, in the next hour or so for, for questions as well. So thank you.